United States ranks dead last in the world in terms of the support that it gives new parents after having a baby. It's just fact. Of the top 18 economies in the world, the United States is the only country that does not allow for any paid leave at all. So we do have unpaid leave, which is a little bit of a misnomer. People think, oh, well, you can get parental leave. If you're a dad, you're a mom, you can take time. Well, you can if you can afford it. So first of all, only 56% of American workers qualify for FMLA because of the stipulations. You have to be at a company that has 50 employees, you have to have worked full time for a year, you have to be working within a certain radius of your company's home base, so that automatically disqualifies a lot of people. But then when you look at who can actually afford to take 12 weeks of unpaid leave per child, it, the numbers go down even further. And what you end up with is that 25% of new American mothers go back to work less than two weeks after having had a baby, which is just so markedly different from how it is in the rest of the world. And I think a lot of people think um, erroneously that it would be really costly for our country to have some sort of paid leave program. But when you look at the other top performing economies in the world, these other countries who, that have, first of all, they have parity between moms and dads. They have um, you know, the same leave for adoptive parents. They have all kinds of things that just make this about actually helping produce the next generation in a way that will make that generation go on to also support the economy. Um, so in Norway, Norway is consistently ranked as the happiest country in the world. Wonderful, that makes sense. They have a, almost a year of paid leave. Um, moms and dads are allowed to share it, sounds great. But when you look at the economy, they are also the top producing, the, their GDP is the highest per capita of any top economic country in the world. It's, it's kind of amazing. And on top of that, they have more moms who work than any country in the world. They also have more moms who work full time, which is a really important distinction. It's not just that they have, you know, mothers really involved in the workplace. They have mothers who are really involved in the workplace, are also incredibly happy, have also taken this time away from their jobs, and somehow the economy is still moving forward at a good clip. This is so far away from what we have in the United States, it's, it's, it's almost, it's sad, but it's almost laughable. The women I interviewed told me that they felt better, kind of more back to normal physically at about the 5.5 month mark after having a baby. And I was careful to define that as not necessarily back in your pre-pregnancy genes. That's not what I meant. It's really more about feeling comfortable in your skin. So that's at the 5.5 month mark on average for all these women. And these were women who had kind of all approaches to career and motherhood. There were single moms, adoptive moms. There were um, mothers who worked um, in hourly wage working jobs and more professional jobs. Um, really as broad a spectrum of approaches as I could find. And so these women reported feeling back to normal physically after 5.5 months. Emotionally, it was actually a little longer. It was 5.8 months, which is really interesting because when you look at the science um, of what a good uh, parental leave looks like, it is six months of paid leave because according to the research that's been done, six months is the point at which a mother is much less likely to suffer from a postpartum mood disorder or anxiety disorder. That is also six months of paid leave is the protective amount for baby's health. And um, babies who ha have had mothers who have been able to take that amount of leave paid are much more likely to be vaccinated on time, are actually less likely to have ear infections and respiratory infections, it's been shown, which sounds really specific, but it is actually due to their mother's um, ability to breastfeed longer, um, which, and I'm very much a fed is best kind of person. However, you feed your baby great I just want you to be able to make the choices that are best for you so so basically all of the science shows that it takes at least six months to start really feeling normal again and that's because you are hormonal your body has been through the most enormous change any body could go through and yet you're expected to be back on the job just the way you were before so yes unfortunately we and the we is not me the we is our greater society and culture undervalues parents in the workplace, particularly moms. Mm -hmm.